Hello folks, Bradley's back. Yes, I'm back with another painting from, oh, 1998 to 2013. Uh, the title of this piece is called Welcome to Paradise. It's a sizable canvas, 18, 18 by 24. Let me get a drink of my pineapple juice. I'm kind of battling uh, allergies, so. It's terrible. Anyway. I got a different lighting system, so this one's a little brighter, a little more colorful, things of that nature. Uh, you can't see the lighting, it's right above. So basically, I kind of start, like I said before, I don't, I kind of just wing my, I wing it through my paintings. I really don't have a particular story. I kind of just think about the sky first, whether it be a winter painting, a summer painting, a fall painting, spring, whatever it might be. So what I wanted to do in this one is just have a beautiful blue sky with just basically wispy little white clouds floating through, stuff like that. Uh, you, I'm not sure if you can pick this up, but there's actually some black specks on this uh, screen. They're actually just eagles and stuff, birds flying through and stuff like that. Remember, we're in nature. So basically, you got to kind of add all kinds of weird little animals and flying things and stuff like that. So I kind of like the way I did the sky, right? I think it turned out pretty good. Uh, I'm not sure how it's gonna uh, look when I post this on my YouTube channel later on tonight, but I think it looks pretty good on my uh, initial video that I'm recording right now. Okay, now we're gonna talk about the background. Okay, you, you can look really close, way back here. Teeny little, like I always said, distance is important. Composition is important. You know, the you, you've gotta create some kind of a, a depth on your painting. Of course, this is the foreground, the background. Oh, the background right here, really. So all these tiny little things you see right here, just little pine trees back there. You can make them, you can pick them out. They're like pointy things. And, if you, and then of course you got the larger pines, which are closer to the shoreline. And of course, if you look real closely, you got all these twigs and stuff coming up. You know, dead trees, branches, stuff of that nature. You know, all kinds of weird stuff. You gotta kinda add all kinds of detail back here. It's really important. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to pick this up when you uh, view this video later on, but if you look at it real closely, you can see all the stuff way back there, man. There's a whole line of pine trees and even further ones behind those. And then, of course, you got this pink tree right here. I decided to put something colorful right here. This is actually kind of a, uh, like a pink blossom type tree. I'm not sure why I did that. That's kind of like a fall color or something, maybe. And so I really had a lot of fun doing this painting. Of course, you got this little rock formation right here, and that's a little closer to the bottom, the foreground. Of course, you got the bigger pines here, you know, and then you can see the smaller ones here. If you look real closely up here, these are dead branches coming out right here. I'll get my pointer out of the way. You know, there, there may be a tree behind these pine trees. You know, these are the dead branches, kind of, there's no leaves on them, stuff like that. You can kind of see them. They're all all kinds of little twigs and everything like that. So don't worry about them. They're, they're behind these pine trees. You don't have to worry about that. And of course, I wanted to create some kind of a, like a slanty grassy area going down to the shoreline of the lake, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. Time for a pineapple drink again. Otherwise, I'm going to cough. So I have all these rock formations on the shoreline. You got these little grass uh, sections, you know, cascading down to the shoreline. You got all kinds of little flowery things right here. I mean, you know, you know how I paint basically. So you can see all this detail right here. This is all shoreline detail right here. And if you look real close, it's highlighted, of course. And uh, oh, four minutes, not that bad. Four minutes, that's not too bad right now. God, I wish I didn't have these allergies. It's really frustrating to try to talk and not cough at the same time. It's frustrating as hell, folks. I took some uh, Benadryl this afternoon. That just about knocked me out for four hours. I managed to stay awake. And then, of course, you got this pink tree. It kind of matches the one that's actually over here. I wanted to put a little more color in these some of these uh, particular areas so it kind of stands out a little bit more. Of course, you have your gnarly pine trees, which are pretty much dark green, with just some highlights on them, stuff like that. They're kind of pointy looking. You know, this one goes way up over the over the entire, uh, off the canvas over here. 
So basically, I kind of like the way this turned out. It's kind of cool looking. When I look at it from this view over here, I like the reflections, the way it did the reflection of course in the water. And the shoreline reflections, all the dark stuff like right there. The pine tree reflections, of course, going into the water. You got the highlights from the sky in the water right here. That's just, you know, water break, stuff like that. Rock formations popping out of the water. You know, that's, that's what all these white things are down here. They're just taking reflections off the sky back here. All these particular clouds and stuff like that. So I really put a lot of work into this painting, man. Here's the, some, some more reflections from these pine trees right here, straight down. And you got all these, it's really hard to see all the detail I put on this painting. Uh, unless you look at it closely in person, you can kind of go, you know, that's not too bad. And then of course on this side over here, over here you got more rock formations, reflections off the sky right down there. The shoreline right over here, you know, sandy spots, rocks popping up, you know, and there's pine trees right behind them, stuff like that. I mean, I can sit here and explain everything, but I mean, you just gotta kinda look at the detail and go, how did he do that? How did he do that? You know, I haven't had much comments lately on some of my videos. There is there is a couple people who do comment on my uh, my paintings, which is kind of really nice. I do appreciate that very much. Worked about six and a half minutes. We got lots of time, man. I seen they have my voice back intact here. I kind of like the way I did over here too. If you look over here, I like all these bushes and big gnarly pine trees way back there, man. It's like a it's a little bigger than normal, but I wanted to kind of. Oh my God! I had so, there's so much detail in this painting, folks. I really went to town, particularly on this particular area right in here, and right where the shoreline is and the reflections in the water, stuff like that. You see all these black things coming out of the water, like right here. Those are just rocks popping out of the water. You know, if you go to any stream or lake, you always see rocks popping out of the water. You know, they're not completely submerged. You know. I always try to just try to kind of make my paintings a little bit fun and interesting to look at. A lot of people kind of, uh, you know, they don't put as much detail as they should have, but I love detail, like I told you before. Detail is really important for me. But on this side over here, of course, you can actually see the lake down here too. This is actually, that lake is actually coming down further, and you can see the blue down there. That's actually part of this whole lake right there. So I had it actually come all the way down. And who knows, it's probably gonna go that way somewhere. That's why it's right here, and then it's gonna go way over there. I'll let you look at the painting for a second. I'll try to explain, that way that way you don't have to see my poker and stuff like that. And you know, you can kind of look at the painting and make your own judgments on it. And like I said, all the stuff on the other side over here is just basically rocks, formations right there. You know, shoreline formation, stuff like that. And then now, now as you get down to the foreground, right down there, get some more juice here. Ah! Only if I can get through this pain without coughing. <coughs> okay. I wanted to try to bring out some of the bushes. Like you can see a lot of the reds, a lot of the greens, bushes, twigs coming up off the off the ground in between the bushes and twigs in between I mean between the bushes you can actually see some of these stuff right there if you look really closely you can actually see all these twigs and stuff like I said I like to add detail I love it I love detail I love detail I like to add something most people won't add to their paintings you know they're just point uh, they're just line to brush just stuff like that to create these really fine super lines you know that kind of resemble you know, dead twigs coming off trees and stuff like that. If you go out in nature, you can see lots of dead, uh, just branches hanging off trees with no leaves on them and stuff like that. That's really what this represents, all this stuff right here. It's just kind of like, I just, just trying to make it as realistic as I can. You know, it's just a painting. It's not gonna be perfectly realistic. You know, it's, that's hard to capture. Only the true masters can do that. You know, I'm just more of a, a weekend warrior painting, painter. So you can see all the browns and the greens, kind of fallish colors. Here's some more dirt sections down here at the bottom of the foreground. You know, you can see the dirt. This is all dirt down there, my signature. Uh, rock for me. I mean, there's so much stuff. I could point out 500 different things on this painting, but you know, I, 
you got to stop somewhere with the di with the with the, the dialogue. So basically, I mean, I'm looking at all the detail, and I'm kind of trying to figure out should I talk about that section or this section or just let you look at it and let me explain certain things. Trying to explain everything is really hard to do because, you know, most people are not going to be able to see all the detail and wonder why I put so much detail in there. This is because, like I said before, I'm really heavily, heavily into detail. Uh, you know, I like this section right here. See all this right here? This is actually rock formations behind the pine trees. You know, it's kind of like there's a mountain range or like a big, uh, I don't know, a sloping cliff section or something. Same with the one right over here. Goes down to the shoreline there. So basically, I just kind of like, so basically, I said basically again. I can't believe that. I'm going to have to get that out of my vocabulary. But I'll let you sit and look at it. Of course, I got my ambient music in the background kind of offsetting the painting so this I like that music in the background just because it kind of like just sets up the painting and when I'm talking about the painting sort of like I don't know space type music ambient dark ambient type music it's kind of like thumping uh, uh, space uh, droning or what do you want to call it. I'm not even sure what you would want to call this I found it kind of interesting decided to use that in all my videos my painting videos my sculpture videos things of that nature and of course, I think you saw my, my Galen recently. I posted that a few days ago. And that's my little sculpture, that Hobbit figure. And then of course, Bubbles the Clown about a week l earlier than that. And of course, you see my other videos too, Penny and you know, my Rowan videos and you know, Spidey Presents and stuff like that. But, you know, take a look at the painting and see what you think. We're up to about 12 and a half minutes. I'm gonna go about another six minutes on uh, describing the painting and that's about it you know I'm gonna try to clear my uh, throat out a little bit it's not kind of disgusting so uh, it kind of sucks when you have to take a Benadryl every day during the, the, the allergy season you know with pollen and stuff like that ah uh, terrible man yeah just look at it I think it turned out pretty good I think it turned I think I could have done a better job over here though but it still turned out pretty good. Back when I was painting, of course, you know, you try to make it as realistic as you can. I like the section right here where the, uh, the land kind of comes out into the lake and there's bushes on top of the land. So basically it's kind of like just, you know, here's the other shoreline and it kind of comes out into the lake. You got the dark spots here, which are just reflections off the shoreline. You know, you gotta have, uh, I don't know. Some more water. All right. <clears throat> well, this uh, review ain't going, oh, review. This description ain't going too bad. I'm gonna try to do a rowing video tonight too. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I like this. I'm looking at it from behind the painting towards my webcam. See, I'm actually here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. A lot of people go, hey, where the hell is he? I'm here. Trust me, I'm here. You can see me flapping my wings right here. But like I said, like I said about 25 times, I like the detail I put into this painting. It took a lot of work. I couldn't even give you a rough estimate how many hours I put into this painting. You know, like I said before, I really don't keep a, a record book or log of how many hours I spend on the, like the sky, and then you know make maybe ten hours on the sky, then maybe four or five hours right in this section, or eight hours or something like that. I just don't do that. You know, once it's done and I'm satisfied with it, I just slowly move down the painting to the front, you know, the foreground down here. You know, and I really I a lot of people I find it really tedious to basically keep a accurate log of how many hours you put on a painting. I just don't think that's necessary. I think your work will just speak for itself and there's enough said, right? Enough said. So basically I kind of like just just like the paint. Come up with a story even if it's just a basic 
run-of-the-mills type story. I just like to do that anyway. I don't need to, you know, like I said, keep a record. There's no point to it. Once you got a painting done, that should be the end of it, right? Sign it, have it reproduced so you can make copies for people, sell them, stuff like that. A lot of people don't realize I actually sold a whole bunch of prints from some of the other uh, paintings I've done over the years. Uh, I actually had them for sale on different, oh, like eBay and uh, all those other, other type of uh, uh, sites that sell artwork and stuff like that. Not, I didn't sell a lot. I just kind of did it for, as a spare, as a like, little hobby or something like that. I was kind of really gun ho back then about trying to make a little extra bucks on the side. But I really wasn't interested in doing that. That's a lot of work, folks. That is a lot of work, man. You know, besides painting the thing, you've got to bring it to a re uh, reproduction uh, studio, and they got to, re you know, oh my God, they got me prints and copies of it, even postcards, or whatever you want to do with it, man. Maybe I might do that again, but, you know, I'm getting kind of old, so basically, you know, I just want to paint and, you know, just do what I like to do. Maybe if I'm so inclined in the future, I might do that. Maybe in the next half a year, two years or something, if I'm around. But, you know, like I said, I, would, I really would appreciate it if you would uh, say a couple nice, kind words about the painting on the description below on the YouTube channel. I know a lot of people won't say anything about it, but, you know, I do have a couple of people that do comment on some of my videos once in a while. You know, not many people seem to want to take the time to say, hey, beautiful painting. Hey, I like Spidey's new video, stuff like that. Very small amount of people. You know, I don't know if it's too hard to type it on your keyboard or what, but, you know, it's, it's kind of tedious. I can understand that, but, you know. Like I said, if you want to give this a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the description on it, you know, give me some comments, I really would appreciate it. Even if they're kind of, you know, crappy comments, I still, I still look at them, you know. But like I said, I enjoy doing this a lot. It's just a hobby, folks. Just like when I make Penny Lonely Clown videos, Butcher the Clown, Spidey Presents, you know, my sculptures uh, from the same time period, stuff like that. I just basically kind of like just to do stuff because I've always been uh, inclined to kind of accomplish something in my life. Whether people like it or not, I just do it for the fun of it. You know, there's really, I really don't have anything in mind other than that. I just basically kind of like to just create stuff, show off uh, some of my skills, you know. You may not appreciate it, but I, I put a lot of work into my videos. All those videos you see on my YouTube channel, a lot of work went into those videos, folks. <coughs> Excuse me. A lot of work. You have no idea how much thousands of hours of time I put into those videos. And it's really not paid off, but it's just fun to do. Like I said before, it's just a hobby, really. I'm not really concerned about making money, so. I just do it in my spare time since about 95% retired from my uh, my job. So basically, now I got more time than ever to kind of do more stuff. So, And one thing too, I'm actually working on a new painting. I put some work on it uh, in the last three weeks, about, oh, maybe about 15 hours worth of work on it. It's kind of a dismal winter painting. I'm going to show that to you pretty soon too. Maybe in its rough form, I'm not sure if I'm going to finish it first before I show it. I just kind of want to... I, it's actually turned out pretty good. I have no title for it yet, but basically I should kind of show basically what it looks like. Say I said basically one again. Basically, what is the word? What is with me in the word basically? I don't even, oh my God, that irritates me. Anyway, we're gonna shut this video down. But like I said, if you want to comment on this painting, you know, subscribe, you know, hit the thumbs up, you know, get the notifications turned on so every time I release a new video you'll at least be informed that something new is coming out you know it's up to you you know like I said I'm not really concerned about that but you know it would be nice if we got a few comments a few thumbs up but you know I'm not expecting a lot so but you know maybe miracles you know miracles will happen but I'm gonna get going anyway. so we'll see you next time hopefully maybe later tonight 
Until then, you take care and watch the stars.